What's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Benji and today we're going to do like a quick unboxing of uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I just picked this up uh, just not too long ago, about 30 minutes ago from my local GameStop or so. And a part of me was a little weird about uh, ordering it from GameStop. I know uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, they got a lot of uh, different, you know, people have different views about GameStop and, and how they are as a company. And um, I think they're okay. I just know that, you know, Walmart, you, usually you can get a game for about $10 cheaper on launch. I know the other day I saw that they had a, a, a Mortals Phoenix Rising. That's what I have in my um, PS5 right now. Um, Walmart had it for $50 and um, GameStop had it for just your standard 60 So I thought that kind of sucked. But um, upon going to GameStop today, I, you know, was feeling a little leery about, you know, damn it, did I make a right choice with going to GameStop? You know, maybe, maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have just waited until the bugs were fixed or whatever. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I picked up the copy and when I get there, um, I found out, which is really, really cool. So you get obviously the game, it's a two disc. I don't know if you've probably seen some other unboxing. It's it, the game comes with two discs as an install disc. And then there's a play disc. Um, but what was really, really cool and surprising, um, is that you also get, this and what this is is a samurai necklace um that comes with um it's a pre-order it's a pre-order exclusive apparently the guy told me the only way you can get it is if you pre-order it so that was kind of cool um i found out um right then and there that i was getting this necklace and um and i i, I as you can tell i like physical stuff I, I like to collect things so i thought this was a nice touch so I instantly re-regretted my decision with going with GameStop and now I'm happy I went with GameStop because I got this cool little necklace that I also get to unbox and then um and yeah and uh and also on top of that I, before I unbox this let me mention too is uh, I also got another I got a $20 coupon from buying this game that I could use to buy another game with so that's pretty cool so later on I don't even know what another game is coming on the future I'm gonna buy it, but I can use it towards that um and before I purchased this I thought this was really strange. So we all know that, you know, day one patches are a thing, uh, bugs are a thing, and it's just going to happen with the game of this magnitude. It's just going to happen, you know? I mean, the, we saw it with The Witcher. We, we've seen it with Skyrim. We've seen it with with literally every single Fallout game. Um, so what the guy said at GameStop, he says that um, there's a 48-hour um, return on this if you do not, I guess enjoy the game or if the bugs are too much and i thought that was really crazy because you know usually you open you take this out of the package you could literally walk outside the freaking store take this game out of the box turn around and turn back in five like five seconds later and this literally just lost thirty dollars of value and it's unheard of but right now at my local GameStop, i don't know if y'all you're going to be able to um return this game within 48 hours if, if the bugs are too much um and if you uh if it's not to your liking so i thought that was really cool anyways enough talking let's go ahead and get to the unboxing um like i said it's a two disc game so that's pretty awesome i i i, I like it when they have like a disc that's just you know set aside for the install and they have another one i think it's a real real nice touch some people don't like that so here it is here's the sleeve bam and then there's the game case and then behind it we got looks like you know you know how these companies are this isn't a rockstar game it's a warner brothers game but rockstar usually gives you um you know maps and stuff of the game this one right here is just your normal um wow this is actually like the lore the birth of night city so this is, has some like information and lore on the game pacifica the badlands uh cyberpunk who the fuck are you anyway samurai <laughs> wow that's pretty cool so that is the oh it's called the world uh, compendium the world compendium that's what that is and then this next one um okay yeah this definitely is a poster picture map of some type here we go night city oh look at that beautiful beautiful map hold on one second look at that um that's it i guess okay that's it so there it is you got Haywood, Santo Domingo, Pacifica. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, that's gonna definitely go up on this wall somewhere. I, I have to find a spot for it, obviously. But uh, getting these to fold back the way that they came out is always a puzzle in itself. Um, okay, so there's that. So that's the, uh, the Night City map. And then we got one more here um these feel like oh these are like postcards okay oh there's a code here 
30 day free trial of HBO Max. Luckily, since I'm an employee of a, a company that I will not name that installs internet, I get HBO Max for free. So that's pretty cool. Um, so uh, maybe I'll give this code away. I don't know. There's a code here for uh, 30 days free of HBO Max. Anyone interested? Let me know in the comments down below. I might give it to you. I'm not, I'm not joking. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, here is the uh, postcard. So it's got a little tab on here to hold them together. Just gonna slip this off here. Take a look here. I don't know why I'm wasting time because I know I should just throw one of these discs in there right now um, to get this started because um, I only have 50 meg internet and it's probably gonna take a while to install. <laughs> but whatever, it is what it is. So we got, it looks like we got three of these. So this is the uh, El Coyote Coho, Kojo. And it looks like a cowboy at a pool hall. And this is uh, Japantown. Oh, that's cool. There's a Japantown in the game. Look at that. It's a postcard from Japantown. And then this one is a Pacifica one. That's pretty rad. That's pretty cool. I like that. So there's that. And then we have the actual game itself. Um, like I said, two discs, install disc, and a play disc, or the data disc. It says insert data disc first. So before we get to that, let's just get to these little pieces here. Um, welcome to Night City, the year is 2077. Got some stickers, hell yeah. I love it when they give me stickers, man. A lot of games literally come with a blank spot here nowadays. Like they don't give you crap anymore. I mean, at least, you know, like a, a, a pamphlet on like how the game you know, works and whatnot. I, I, I always think that's something that is at least needed, but whatever. So we got the data disc here. Let's go ahead and take out Immortals Phoenix Rising. I've been having a blast playing this game. Um, check it out if you haven't. It. It's, it's freaking amazing. Um, I've been asked by a couple people on what it's like, and the way I explain it is the game is like if Zelda Breath of the Wild had a baby with, I want to say, the last three Assassin's Creed games. That would be the best way to describe Immortal Phoenix Rising. It's got a lot of Greek myth mythological lore in it. So if you're into that kind of stuff, um, you know, check it out. So we got Cyberpunk copying in the background. You know, fast forward that an hour or so. It's gonna take a while, I know, but I'm patient anyway, so that's fine. I got a couple things to do around here. Um, next up, or last I should say, is the necklace, which is I'm, I'm, I'm most excited about, honestly, because I wasn't even expecting to get this. And I, and, and I just, it's kind of a treat, honestly, when you get something that you weren't expecting and you just didn't really have to pay for it. You know, it just comes for free just because you decided to go with that particular store. And I thought that was really cool. Um, it's got a sticker. Okay, there we go. The twist pan. It's got some foam on the top. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's uh, it's like an Oni like samurai mask. It reminds me of Ghost of Tsushima, which is pretty cool. That's another game that you guys should check out if you hadn't already. Um, easily probably my favorite game of 2020. This will probably top it. <laughs> but favorite, so far, favorite game of 2020, Ghost of Tsushima, 100%. Okay. Wow, this thing's got some weight to it, too. Wow, this is a lot nicer than I anticipated. It ain't just like your regular, you know, boo-boo chain that you get. You know, this is actually like... See the focus in there real quick. Not really. Yeah, it's actually like has these different kinds of like connectors here. This is really, really special. Wow. And there's the, the mask there. And the mask is metal. I mean, it, it, it feels like... Uh, if it, it feels like it's aluminum or just some type of metal um this is definitely aluminum this uh this uh, chain here and it's got a nice little um yeah it's got some nice detail on it honestly that's pretty cool yeah it's got some it's like a little japanese samurai like a oni mask if you will and this came with my pre-order and that's that's pretty cool honestly I wasn't even expecting to get something like this, but but we got it. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is just like a quick and dirty unboxing. You know, I'm, I'm not even using my normal camera. I'm using my iPhone's like front facing camera. So if everything looks reversed, deal with it. 
Um, yeah, so we got Cyberpunk 2077 in the PS5 right now. And uh, it's about to happen. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I've, I've, I've been trying my best to stay away from spoilers. Not that there has been many spoilers since uh, CD Projekt Red put out a, a disclaimer to most YouTube slash streamers that they couldn't they couldn't post any actual gameplay of their own until the game officially launched. So they can only use like regular B-roll uh, footage of the game that they provided, which is, you know, um, and I was watching a few YouTubers that I follow and um, they, 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 they speculate that it's because uh, of the bugs is that they um, and also to mention that the guy at GameStop was at telling me that there's actually a 48 hour return um, wave, what if you want to call it, that you can do for this game for the first two days of its life. Uh, you can return this game for full $60. That is, for uh, for GameStop, that's crazy. Because GameStop, you all know, they don't they don't like to give you full price on anything that's open. They, they, they literally try to, they, they give you as, as least amount of money as they possibly can, and they, they throw it on the shelf, and, and, and they make their money right back, you know, with, with it. But, uh, yeah. I'm excited. We're at 8%. It's going to take a while. But uh, yeah, more videos to come. Um, I, I feel like I made this YouTube channel. Uh, it's, it hasn't been a just, it's been like a little under a year or so. No, it, it's, it's been about a half a year or so since I made this channel. And um, I had visions of what I was going to do with it. I, I um, initially was going to, it was going to be more of like a vlogging type of channel where I was going to kind of like do day to day things. Um, but if anyone out there has ever tried that, it requires a lot of your time and I don't have a whole lot of time. I have a full-time job and I, I, the, the time that I do get to game, um, I, I cherish it very much. So, uh, any other time, any extra time that I have, I don't really spend on filming and I don't really spend on vlogging and I just feel like there really hasn't been anything interesting happening in my life anyway. I don't want to be the type of vlogger that's just going to just, you know, spam you with posts and just, uh, you know, updates on what the fuck is going on in my life. Because I don't feel like that's just that's just good content. I'd rather just, you know, make videos of good content and, and just provide that instead of just, you know, uh, you know, day to day things. So. I put the channel on a hold for a while and I, I, I had another vision I wanted to do with it. And then I started a podcast, which is another thing that I need to actually uh, resurrect. I think today, I think I might do something. I might, I might do some talking today. If, if this game gives me enough time, which I don't think is going to, um, then uh, then I, I might I might just, uh, just shoot the shit and play this game um, all day today. But yeah, uh, more videos to come. I might be doing. Uh, I might be doing some live streaming. I don't know. I tried to live stream this video, and YouTube told me that I couldn't because of uh, I'm not allowed to. Uh, apparently, I, I'm, my channel doesn't do live streams or something like that. I don't know. I need to look into that. It's been a while since I've actually been. I've got. I sunk my you know teeth into YouTube and actually try to post anything or edit anything. Um, so I need to really look into that. But yeah, I just did a quick and dirty, you know, front facing camera video uh, unboxing of Cyberpunk 27, 2077 on this video. And um, I hope to show you guys some gameplay. I know uh, YouTube is going to be flooded with uh, with like Let's Plays and whatnot and people um, just streaming. So look forward to that. Um, if you are interested, you like my content, please give me a like down below. Give me a comment. You know, which, what, what do you think of Cyberpunk? Is it great? Is it everything that you hope for? uh hit that bell notification hit that subscribe button um definitely we'll be coming out with some more stuff soon it's just kind of a slow crawl right now with with everything just moved into this house a couple months ago and just, just starting to get um everything you know kind of situated and i feel like I'm, I'm almost there where i can actually start you know producing content for you guys and um and and getting this channel kind of going off the ground because i i feel like i'm just dragging in the mud right now anyways um uh, Good luck, everyone out there. Uh, hope you guys are being safe. And um, happy gaming to anyone who's getting Cyberpunk. I know I'm excited for it. I feel like most people like me are going to probably spend a lot of time on the character customizations and deciding um, what they're going to do with that. <laughs> um, I won't spoil anything for you. But yeah, it's you, there's a lot of customization you can do in this game. 
And um, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. And uh, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.